Okay, today's the day. I got the notification in my emails. It's coming. I've been waiting for this for two weeks. When it gets here, I'm going to do a little unboxing and first impressions. But stay tuned. Alright, so I just got the mail and here they are. Here it is. It's what I've been waiting for. Waited like two weeks for it. Normally, I don't usually have to wait this long, but I got the special Star Wars edition soaps from Dr. Squatch. It's special packaging. I believe it's official Disney merchandise, but let's check it out. Let's open it up. Ready? Okay, here it is. Let's get it open. I'll pull this out first. There you go, Dr. Squash, Star Wars. Let's get it out of the box that it's in. Okay, here it is. We got some raised lettering here in the Dr. Squatch name and the Star Wars. And if you can, you can see on the box here, There is little stars. They have flecks of white paint in there to resemble space. There's the little Disney logo. Now I believe for them to put the, the Disney logo on there, it has to be a licensed product. They can't just slap the Disney logo on there like that. All the paperwork came was just a, just a packing slip. So let's get this open. Oh, we got a nice magnetic case here. Hear that snap? Got the Star Wars there on the bottom. Let's open it up, and there's the soaps. All four of them. We got Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, Darth Vader, and Darth Maul. And on the inside you have a little picture of all of them. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, Darth Vader, and Darth Maul. Very nice box, very, very nice. Here's the Obi-Wan Kenobi soap. Got the Disney logo on the bottom. There it is. Nice marbleization in there. Get that back in the box. Underneath it, it has the it has the name it says Jedi Knight Obi Wan Kenobi with his lightsaber. That's pretty cool. Here's uh, Master Yoda's. Very nice. Let's open it up. All right, it doesn't have any kind of swirl or design on there. Looks like just a, looks like just a green bar with little bits of stuff inside of it. Here's the dark side scrub, which is the Darth Vader. There you go. And of course, with all of these, you could take a freeze frame of any of these descriptions from all the soaps and read them at your leisure. Let's see what it looks like. I believe it's just it maybe just a charcoal bar. This, oh, look at that. Got the red marbleization in there. Looks very, very nice. Looks very cool. I like this one a lot. There you go. It's a Sith Lord Vader with his lightsaber. And a uh, little silica gel packet. I'm going to keep this in here. It keeps the... It keeps everything dry. And here's the Darth Maul soap right here. There you go in the back. You got a little uh, explanation there. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, and it's all red.
and inside you got his double bladed lightsaber and his name in there. So here are all the soaps. You could take a freeze frame of this and read it at your leisure, but the two on the left have no grit to them and the two on the right have heavy grit to them. So these are going to be high exfoliating bars and these are going to be like conditioning bars. All in all, really nice set, love the packaging, really like the box, it's got that magnetic snap to it. Let's see if there's anything on the back. You have a little transmission there, you can take a freeze frame of that and read it at your leisure. I'm going to put it back in the plastic once I've finished filming. I'm going to bring the camera up and share my final thoughts on the whole Dr. Squatch Star Wars soap collection. I'm back up top with the Dr. Squatch Star Wars collaboration, limited edition, whatever you want to call it, soap set. Um, I'm really blown away by it. I really love the way it looks. The whole packaging, everything. Um, they smell fantastic. This smells very fresh and clean, very crisp, very, very nice scent. Yoda soap smells very earthy, very plant-like. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to use them. I really don't. I don't, I don't think I should use them um, because it's a Star Wars product. It's a Star Wars licensed product um, and it's a Disney product. I believe, I feel like these are collectibles um, and anything Star Wars over time, it goes up in value. Now, I probably did ruin it by opening it and taking it out of the box. Um, but I don't think I'm going to actually use them to wash my body. Oh, man, that's Sith Lord. The, um, the dark side scrub smells so good. And I really like exfoliating soap, so it's going to be hard not to use this one. The Darth Maul one... I don't think I like this scent. Yeah, there's something weird about it. There's something weird about it. I don't know if I like it. Um, it smells a little bit almost like Big Red. I don't know. It just it, it, It's got an off-putting scent. I don't think that this one would be um, a pleasant scent to wash with. If I were going to buy any more of these to try and use as like to wash with, um, I would get the Dark Side Scrub and either one, either the wisdom wash or the only hope soap which is the Darth Vader I mean which is the Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi or Yoda because um, you could buy these I believe you can buy these separately you don't have to buy the set um, I bought the set because I want the packaging and the whole thing as soon as I saw it I said I have to have it I'm a Star Wars fan and I like soaps so it all it goes together hand in hand back in the plastic again I don't know if this is going to be a collector's item, but anything Star Wars, Disney, you never know. It could end up being one of these items down the line that are highly sought after because maybe not a lot of people bought Dr. Squatch soaps and, you know, they didn't really, they don't know about it. And it could be one of these items that come from Star Wars that are really limited and hard to find. And could be end up worth a lot of money so I'm gonna keep it in the box wait a little bit do some research Google around see if it's something on that level and then I'll make a decision from there um, the soap by itself I have other bars of dots of squash soap they all work really well for me nice and conditioning their their Mars bar is one of my favorites um, that's another like kind of exfoliating kind of bar I'm just not going to use these because I don't know if they're going to have any value in the future. But that's it for today's video. If you like the content, like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.